It's fun to observe sumo patterns. Haku Oho against Abi started out as pure Haku Ho. <laughs> the double full start copied by hand from his master's playbook. That master was warned for this five years back. Haku Oho, though I doubt the effect, was warned for this in May. The composure he showed to plot all this in his first ever bout with a Sanyaku Ranka was also of Haku Ho level. And when Abi felt pressed to respond in kind, you knew how unsettled he was. When it came to the actual moves, Haku Oho again was three steps ahead. His steps quite literally the key. He notes the dip in Abi's neck whenever he barrels forward. He knows he can resist at the edge if his slapdown doesn't come off. And he knows that whatever Abi does next, his own left leg will be set to swing right back into action. Abi will either try to pull or shimmy to the left like so. <laughs> and true sumo athlete Haku Oho, with those hundreds of hours of track and field practice, twisting and turning those hyper-pumped legs, retains diagonal stance throughout, and closes every gap. A well-deserved two-prize haul for him. Now this bout also brought memories back. You can picture Koto Eko with his attendant on the morning of this match, working on something with inside right. His is one of the best in the game. Echo keeps his right watertight throughout against any kind of arching left grip. My strong suspicion is he prefers an inside take on the left. And when Hokuseho breaches that flank, most fans around me assume he's won. But Echo's at home when driven back by a foe with an inside right, recall? And he knows how to stretch for an outside left. Against Tochinoshin, his right arm was scooping up, clearly his preferred option, so he used the left as his standing leg. <laughs> Against Seho, his right arm was deployed on defense, so he switched his standing leg. At the very moment, Seho leaned to the left to stretch for outside grip. Both moves performed in the same corner of the same dohyo in front of his judging master. For this one, Uda wants Mitake Umi pushing across his body. Why? Because that's how he got the win last year. This compact left block was designed to avoid a repeat of the inside breach here, a match which left Uda very downbeat. A skip to the right was initially read, but Uda smartly reversed his step and found the angle to take the arm. That was the end he was working towards in this year's bout as well. His skip to the right was read again, and rather than pull this time, Mitake pushed, and Uda seemed pinned at the edge. But be it shoulder or ankle or both or something else, Mitake Umi is hampered these days and will not prevail like this so long as Uda's legs are firmly set. The dart to the left not an option this time, Uda cocks his right and moves that way. 
almost winning with follow-up charge and then stepping back in the hunt for an arm. The exact same corner of the ring, only the right arm hooked instead of the left, and dexterously from the inside.